All right, everybody. Today, we are going to open up this, my Beckett return. I'm going to discuss why I graded the cards, how I see them value-wise, and also some terminology as we look at the grades, because I haven't seen the subgrades yet. We have a special guest, Ash. All right, let's see what type of subgrades we got. This was the first one. Okay, so obviously it's an Arabian Nights card. That's why I graded it. But more so than that, I actually opened this card so I knew it would be in good condition. And let's discuss the grade here. We got a nine, but it also has two nines and two 9.5s. This is what's known as a quad plus plus, being in that it's at least four nines. So a minimum grade for a nine would have an 8.5 and three nines. That's the minimum nine that you can get. So you can see why they call it a quad. Okay. Uh, antiquities card, battering ram, just a common, but still same thing. I pulled it myself and uh, you know, great card. I thought it was in good condition. Oh, crazy looking. Love the old art. This is my 9.5, as you can see by the gold label. We'll uh, save that for later. Next one, Argivian Blacksmith, common four. Oof, so close to 9.5s for everything here. That's almost painful to see. If I had gotten one more 9.5 on this and on this, both of them would be 9.5 labels, the gold label instead, gem mint. Okay, so now this is a quad plus in being that it only has one grade, subgrade, that's a 0.5 more. And I know Rudy likes to make fun of that and quad this a million, whatever. You know, the thing is, though, the reality, ooh, Gate to Phyrexia reserve list, awesome card. The reality of the situation is that when you're dealing with these types of cards, that is something you'll encounter a lot. People will talk to you about that and we'll pay more for cards that are quads all right now this is just a ridiculous reserve list foil right here i might sell this this one i'm gonna save that's freaking nice that's so hard to get now see this is a little better than a minimum grade for a nine because it has a 9.5 and 9.5 if this was a nine, that would be a quad plus plus. Now it's just a basic, or I guess you could call it a basic plus plus, but I've never heard anyone say that. False profit, just a destiny rare, in good condition that I had. And this is probably the same thing. Oh no, Hazrin, oh Chris, this is a surprise. I forgot I submitted this, cool. Anyway, that's a quad plus, Rudy's X right here. <laughs> All right, guys, now let's get the real card here. This is super hard to get for even if you open the packs yourself. It's really hard to get a 9.5, guys. I mean, don't expect 9.5s when you submit cards. I know it's just Orcish Mechanics. Common. But it's so hard to get, and it's beautiful. And this card should pay for the entire submission. Maybe maybe even more all right guys this is ed dual brain mtg don't forget to hit the like and subscribe all right take care have a good one. Oh yeah sorry one more thing this is what's called a basic where it's three 9.5s of the grade and then one of the previous grade meaning that this is the minimum that you can get for a gem mint three 9.5s and a nine And in terms of value, I would rate them like this. Highest, second highest here. 
and then down the line. All right, guys. Peace out.